Morning, morning, morning. Welcome to my book worm sanctuary. My name is Bianca and we're going to do a library tour. Yay! So with my library I'm going to show you basically more or less the whole room. Um, I have five bully, bully? <laughs> I have five billy bookshelves and then the larger 80 centimeter ones. Um, with the three that you see as you come immediately into my room, uh, they've got eight shelves on them. Um, so I've added two extra shelves for them. And then I've got two other Billy bookshelves right here, um, just inside the door on the opposite wall. And there's two shelves here. And they just have the basic six shelf space on them. Um, I also have two, three box bookcases I got from Kmart um, and yeah so this is basically my library. So I wanted to quickly show you in my closet this is my Harry Potter collection uh, my PlayStation TV and other miscellaneous stuff sort of lives in the closet but so does Harry Potter um, because I still do have an actual spot, soft spot for the series for Harry Potter himself um but yeah not so much for the author so they now live in the in the closet with my Kmart bookshelves well I guess we'll start with them so that's my little my bookworm sanctuary plaque then we go into my classics sorry about the um shaking I don't have the steadiest hands, but that's some of my classics. I actually do own two beautiful first edition hardback, I think they're Australian classics. My stepmother got them for me for Christmas, but unfortunately they're still at her house. And then we go down into my manga. So we've got all the all the manga. Some more manga. And then the last of my manga. Now up on the very, very top are uh, my dragons. I've been collecting them for a very, 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 very long time. So those are the dragons. But up on my very top shelf here is some paranormal romance, some more dragons, a fake plant, and some Cresley Coal overflow. And then I guess we'll go down. Now here is some reverse harem, but let's be honest, it's Catherine Moon. Um, I've got Catherine Moon sitting up here. And then just some knick-knacky stuff and then more paranormal. Oh, and more dragons. <laughs> and then we come down a shelf. We've got more paranormal with uh, the Stay as, Spell, Stay as Spell series. Love them. Some ornaments, a fake plant. And the Mercy Thompson series. Patricia Big Briggs, love them. And then again, we'll come down a shelf, and this is another paranormal sort of shelf. Uh, got all of them. And then my Ruby Dixon collection, which eventually I want to get all of the Ice Planet Barbarians, but there's like 3,000 books in that series. So. And then we'll come down another shelf. So this is my L. Kennedy, Serena Bowen, Helen Hunting, ice hockey-ish sort of shelf with some rock star romances. So Taut Strings is another rom reverse harem, but I actually couldn't fit it up on the reverse harem shelf. So I thought I'd put it up with the other three rock star romances I have. And it bleeds into Serena Bowen and some Al Kennedy and then some Helena Hunting and then down the shelf hi Bulbasaur how you going mate yes I have a Bulbasaur yes I'm a major child I don't care <laughs> and then I've just got 
some other, I suppose I call them my forbidden sort of shelf, but heart ink is not really forbidden, neither is the bromance club, so yeah, I guess this is more overflow. And then we come down into my second last shelf. We've got some Sylvia Day, Tara Sumi. I actually quite enjoy the dominant, the submissive and the training. Um, are they the best written? No, but I do quite enjoy them. Then some elephants. I've had that elephant since I was like 10. You can tell, look, he's so old. Anyway, Megan Holt. This is, I guess, my BDSM-ish sort of shelf. The Mistress, the Prince, the Angel, the Siren. Fantastic looks. And, you know, trusty Fifty Shades, as you do. And, yeah. Okay, so more dragons, as we can see. Kind of cool. Now, come up into the top shelf. More Cresley Cole, yay! Moles After Dark. I've got all of them. And I've, well, actually, I'm missing Warlord Wants Forever. Needs Forever. Whatever it's called, you know what I'm talking about. And then it goes into the Arcana Chronicles. And then we'll come down a shelf into my Gina Show Walter shelf. So, as you can tell, this is like paranormal stuff again, but. I like to group my authors together and then I like to roughly plop it in genre as well. That's almost Gina on that shelf. And then down a shelf is more Gina. Another fake plant. And then some Nalini Singh. One of my favourite shelves, next to the Immortals After Dark, obviously, is Nalini Singh Sai Changeling. If you haven't read this series, you should. It's freaking fantastic. And then we come down into my JR board. As you can see, we've got many different size books for JR Ward. So I've been collecting her for an extremely long time. Plop down another shelf and more JR Ward. So she's got two shelves, pretty much two entire full shelves, actually. And then oh, some sheep that I made. And then below that, I suppose this is like my fantasy shelf I guess. Um, the Outlander series which I am ashamed to say I haven't read yet. Pushiels, Avatar, Dart and Chosen and the Trees and Air trilogy. Fantastic high high fantasy books. And then All Price is the first book. Absolutely adored it. Then we just go down to my last shelf, which actually doesn't have anything on it, except for just some paintings I sort of did. More dragons, as you can see, on this last shelf. And I have this beautiful, true love story never ends. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, come into more paranormal, but these are basically more or less all my paperback books. I mean, there are easy exceptions to that. Um... And yeah, so this top shelf is paranormal-like books. And then we'll go down a shelf. Just have him for a second. And then we've got more books. And then down below that is more paranormal and then we sort of bleed into what I like to call my historical section and then down another shelf uh, 
I accidentally destroyed a book so I put the beautiful step back on my shelf then we come down into my Stephanie Lawrence shelf Stephanie Lawrence is probably going to have to move into two shelves soon but for the time being they all just fit on the one shelf then we come down to Sabrina Jeffries and some more historicals. Then we come down another shelf and so it's a little dark. This sh shelf. And then the last shelf on the floor here. Is some more. Now I generally more or less keep them in alphabetical order as well, but that's sort of gone out the window at the moment, so yeah. And then we've just got the book cart, which I've already sort of shown you previously. Oh, and my beautiful extension cords, ignore them. These are my two shelves, as you can see. tables on the way. So I'll show you these. So up the top here I've just got a Buddha I think my mum gave me. I believe in fairies. Then some Aurora Aurora Cycle book. Anyway I've got a character art thing that came with the book. Then we've got my Amy Kaufman and Chris, I mean J. Christoph books. And we'll go down one. And these are more YA books that I have. I quite enjoy The City of Brass. Um, and I do want to continue on the series. However, I did find the first book somewhat boring. So, yeah, it was good, but it was boring. And we've got more. I'm going to come down into, I guess, my Julie Kawaga section. And then we come down another shelf into more YA. This is just my bookmarks, Twilight books, Mortal Instrument books, some Percy Jackson and Maze Runner. And then we come down here. I'm so sorry about the fact that it's really dark. Some more YA books that I own. And Sarah J. Maas. And then this is like my miscellaneous shelf. Just has bits and pieces, all sorts of books on here. Some Kathy Reish. Yeah. And then I guess we'll go back up the top here. That's me falling out of an aeroplane. <laughs> and then this is like my fantasy shelf. I've got the Witcher series, the Game of Thrones. And then I've got June and some Neil Gaiman. And then we'll come down into more YA. So tomorrow when the War Begun series, as you can see, I am missing Number two, which I'm not impressed about. I've got some bananas and pajamas. And then we come into my love swept books. Can you see them? Sorry, the lighting, the sun just disappeared behind some clouds. Oh. And then more like Mills and Boone. Harlequin sort of books or painting I made and then down again to some more just miscellaneous romance books and then we have my urban fantasy shelf as you can see and it goes into Rachel Kane. So it's really just 
Kylie Chan and um, Rachel Kane shelf, really. And then I guess the last shelf, so you can have a look. So that was a quick little rundown of my library. So, yeah. Look, please don't um, compare your library to mine or your book collection to mine. Some of these books I've had over 15 years. So, yeah. Um, it's taken me quite a while to collect all these books, but I've physically had this room in our house. Um, we've lived here, I think, just a little over four years. And so it's just been a little over four years that I've had an entire room dedicated to my books, basically. So the library, my bookworm sanctuary, the sanctuary, whatever you want to call it. And that was my little tour of it. Uh, yeah. Obviously the books on the Shelf of Shame and the TBR card will eventually, um, majority of them will actually end up on these three shelves again. Um, but yeah, so that was my library tour guys. I hope you liked it and I shall talk to you next time. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Bye. <music>